Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Magic of Scheherazade. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! We have arrived at the desert world of Owl Arts. We shall escape the sun to speak to the people of the town. Hello, sir! Curly! Hmm. Thank you. What do you think? Dark palace where Curly lives is across the maze desert. Well, that sounds pleasant. What about the space desert? No! Oh, never mind. What do you think? Be curly for mercy's sake. Well, mercy's a nice girl, so I guess I can do that. You go west, then you'll reach the maze desert. Go to the east, then you can reach Kapanes. Right. Ah, and that's why we would want to go to Kapanes. Who's Supika? Oh, I'll answer these questions later. But first! Please, let me be a fighter again! The magician isn't at the point where it's awesome! <laughs> Alright! What do you think, girl? Hey! Ah, whoa! You can't get out of the maze desert alive! I bet you're wrong. Oh, but Supika can go through the maze desert. The desert heat will sap your, you of your hit points. See, only the flying monkey Supika... Only the flying monkey Supika in an old maze could get out of the maze desert. Right. So, to the west there is a maze desert. On the other side of which is, is where Curly's palace is to be found. The only person who knew the way was a flying monkey. Right. Now we could go we could go off to the west and see said maze desert, but uh Well it's kind of a waste of time. Not quite what I want to show of the game. <laughs> but it is possible to get through the maze desert without Supika. Because, what do you know, the path through the base desert actually doesn't change. So the path that Supika will eventually take us through the desert is the only path. But I'm not going to cheat the game in that fashion. Instead, so let this wise guy te teach me the great magic of rain, Palm, and be on my way. Away with you. Find the big rocks. Take that. All right, this must be Copanes. Let's not stab people, let's talk to them. Hey there! I'm the real descendant of Isfa. Obtain power from Arosh. Right. That doesn't help me at all. What do you think? Oh, thank you. Supika? That's Zainab. Sure thing, old guy. Ah, I was aware of this. Hey you! Looking for a flying monkey! Right! Well, at least one of them is. I'm not Zeta! Sorry about that. What do you think? A robot? Is the robot Zeta? Well, it is a robot. Oh, hi Gun Mecha. Um, oh, sorry about that. I'm gone, I'm gone. Uh, no? No, I do not. What do you think? Need Supika. You need Supika 500 years ago. It's like everybody knows I'm a Time Lord or something. Oh, hi, Zainab. Yes, tell me about Supika. 
Okay. What happened? Some jerk named Shen took him away? Well... That sounds rude and... Wait, my name is Shen. Right. Guess we're gonna have to go off to, to the past and be the jerk that took Xupika away. Better locate that time door. Away with you! And you! Clear off! These creatures aren't too dangerous, but uh... If you run into the ones that jump out of the ground, then those aren't going to be worth fighting. Mostly because, well, we'll need to hit them twice in order to actually kill them, and uh... Each time they go into the ground, they fully heal themselves. Very rude like that. Yeah, these things! Here, eat this! Wow! That doesn't kill them either! Run for it! Just a little bit mauled. We'll get by. Oh good, we found the door. Yes, 500 years. Let's go. Take a moment and put ourselves back together. Right. Like that. But up here, we have something which will restore our magic points, so we can go pretty nuts with them. Turn the we turn the bandit into a gremlin. And gained a level for it. Ah, oh, punk! No, that's the time door, Coronia. We have other places to go. Hopefully, not get eaten by the local plant life. Yes, yeah, so those plants will latch on to you and, uh, very gradually tear you apart. As in, you lose a few hit points for... while they're... while well, I've got a hold of you. Yeah, they aren't that dangerous. And sometimes, uh, getting grabbed is the easiest way to deal with them. Far off, you! Now, if we go down, then, uh, that actually leads to a very large loop with nothing in it. Which will eventually get us to, uh, that, that path to the south there. So, we'll just sidestep that and head north. Yeah, it really is just a big loop with nothing in it. Now the Sam Rima have come to haunt us again. So grab the Cygnus Formation! Not because the Cygnus Formation is going to do us any particular good, it's just the easiest way to get the troopers deployed. As you might recall, I had mentioned that, that all of our companions and gain power as we change chapters, so did the troopers. The troopers have had enough of these guys. Clear off! Sam Reba are even more of free experience than they used to be. Oh, people! Right! What do you think? I see! Hmm. 
must be that peak peak language that uh, Gun Mecha was working with. The shop doesn't sell us anything particular. I happen to know what this guy says. He says use the magic of Oprah in here. So I shall. Aha! This is the university! Let us... Let us take some courses! Here's my money! Admit me! Just two courses! Let us begin! Let's start the lesson! The formation is a strategy to defeat the enemy armies! Select the formation and fight! Use her! And your defense and power increases and you can use magical powers! You in the front row! Stop sleeping! <laughs> sorry! Sorry! I'm paying attention! Use Libra against Pandarm and Corsa's Air Squad! Remember these faces! If you meet the Air Squad, use the Libra formation! Hey, that's the lesson! So, jam time! Air Squad appeared! What's the best formation? That would be Libra! Congratulations, you passed! I wish you luck! Oh, I give you the Dragoon to, in to prove you passed the lesson. Good luck! The Dragoon is a new sword! Let's take another course! The Raincom course! Let's see what this magic will do for us! A wise man will appear in the desert shrine 500 years! In 500 years! He can give you the great magic called the Raincom! Magic will grow forth even from the dry earth. However, you only use it once during the solar eclipse. Have the stardust to prove if, if you pass the lesson. Good luck. Hey! Well, we've taken all the courses and gotten ourselves a new, a new sword and a new rod. The stardust rod is really the is the point when the. Uh, Magician actually, he really begins to be, be the better, the better class because the star with the stardust you can have have two projectiles on screen at once. With the dragoon, if our health is high enough, then we have our own projectile. Hoorah! That's uh. Coming over here, Crown, you'll remember that uh, we met a translator robot in Copanes. Because everybody just says, just use the peek peek language. Peek peek! Assault them! <laughs> Alright, fine, let's go. Now we get to go back to Kopane's in... in 500 years and, uh... actually recruit Gun Mecha. Take that! Troopers will eat well. Can I hear you? Hey! I'm not done clobbering you. Take that! Some of this. No, no, you do not. Let's continue about our way. Still, would rather hit things with our sword than with the uh, than with the knife that gets thrown. But also, because in the case of the bandits, the the sword hits will will take out their uh, their their goblin form if they turn in if they turn into it. Don't worry, fill the magic on the uh, when we come back. But for now, I need to go back to the present.
Ha ha! Oh! Time to make rocks! Dodged it! To the Pasito Squad! Quick, get them! Uh, formation. Want the sickness. Now, well, we could use the Giga Torn against them. I don't have much luck with that, and, uh, well, we'll probably kill them faster by just pummeling them. Especially after the troopers get through with them. <laughs> The magic of seal would uh, prevent would have prevented Shen from casting magic if uh, if it had worked, but it did. Woo! So my hit points got up to ninety eight. Magic points to ninety four. Better with the rod, and we've learned the spell Flam all one. So it's an awful lot like this. Burn! Flamel 1 is the, is the spell I was referring to that will just wipe Sam Rima's off the map. Because, well, we can, use, we can use it in combat and just murder things. Yeah! Using Flamel out, out of combat costs 20 magic points, so it's pretty expensive. <laughs> you there! I'm in need of, of assistance. Wait, what? Okay, he was supposed to join me! <laughs> Alright, I have a theory on, on what went wrong, and it's stupid, but, uh, old games can be pretty archaic like this. I'm pretty sure that Coronia, uh, are reminding me of the translator robot, is what actually triggered for Gun Mecha to follow you? To join you? But it's actually, it's likely it's, it's likely what I need to, needed to do was come in here so this guy could peek peek the keek at me. So! I had to go back to Kapanis and see if that worked. Yeesh. Alright, we have returned, and the solar eclipse is upon us. Hopefully it'll stick around long, long enough for the used rain calm. Yes, we needed to go into the house and talk to that guy. <laughs> you jerk! Oh well. With that, Gun Mecha has joined us. Hooray! Which actually lets us use the, uh, other formation. Libra? No matter. Next time, well, we'll head back and we'll see how long this eclipse lasts. We'll see you then. Later.